Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to episode number 22 of my Versus series. In this episode, I'm going one-on-one with African 2014 in Naruto Storm Revolution. And in this episode, I'll be delivering play-by-play -play commentary over the battles. The matches that I picked, I felt were very good. I felt that they were pretty darn good matches. And hopefully no one would go in a video and say that the matches are <laughs> You know, that's just a little joke. Just a little joke. But really though, I liked every single match that I did with African 2014. Uh, we did many matches, but I'm only showing just two of them in this video. Now, with all that said, uh, let's go ahead and get this thing started, and hopefully you enjoy the matches featured in this video. Alright, for this match, I'm using a completely randomized team, African. I think he picked his team, and I went for a chakra dash, I missed. Now African's punching the air, now I'm charging in, now we're fighting air like it's Dragon Ball Z, well, just for a second. Uh, okay, I'm backing off a bit. I think I'm gonna charge in here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm just okay. I'm getting back my chakra. I should have counted dash right there instead of going for that jutsu attack. Okay, now we're finding the air like it's Dragon Ball Z. Why did not I finish the combo right there? I don't know. I, you know what? I think I was trying to make him use his uh, some Tusha bar. I think that's what I was trying to do right there. But yeah, I made the wrong call right there. <laughs> obviously. Okay, right here. Okay, yeah, I backed off right there. That was smart. Oh, see that that was slick right there. I thought he was gonna just charge in. Um, I think he knew I was gonna go for that counter though. I think he knew. All right. Okay, so he's okay. What the heck? See right there, I could have easily had him. I don't know what I was doing right there. And I, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> why was I running? Behind, why was I running around for? What, what the heck? What? Why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? I don't even know. I really don't know. Oh, right there. Okay, right there. I should have got caught by that ultimate attack. I think I got. I got lucky right there. I don't think I got lucky. I know I got lucky right there. Okay, got him right there. Okay, right here I should have went for. I should have used my guard break item when, when I was when I was close right there. I'm not sure why I didn't do that. Okay, I can block an attack. Okay, I, was, I was trying to jump out my combo right there to try to kind of extend my combo without wasting chakra. Okay, so now I have one substitution bar, so I'm keeping my distance. I'm trying. I'm trying to wait for him to make a mistake so I can capitalize on it. And right there, see once again the unnecessary ninja movements, and that's how I got caught right there. That's, ladies and gentlemen, that's the reason why you don't make unnecessary movements when you play this game. Because then you're going to get caught by ultimate jutsus just like that. That was my fault right there. I should not got caught right there. If I would just stood still, that would not have happened. Alright. So right here, um, I see that I'm close to being beaten. So I think I'm playing a, a bit more cautiously. Uh, okay, now I'm mashing on circle hard. <laughs> I'm just mashing. I'm not even thinking at this point. I think I'm just kind of going for random attacks. Got she's sweet support kept me in place. He went for the throw, and I saw that coming. Okay, right here uh, is looking like I might make a comeback here. Do I make a comeback in this match? Did I make a comeback? Look how close it is. No sun touch bars for both of us. It's so close. The first person to make a mistake will lose the match. Okay, right there I had him. What was I doing? I could have got him right there. I could have got him. And he finished me right there. And I don't think I had no sun touch bars at that moment to escape. Uh, I lost that match. It was so close at the end. You guys have to admit that was a very close battle. That was a pretty darn good match. All right, let's uh, move on to the next battle. All right, for this match right here, I'm using the uh, fourth Raikage, Atachi, and Kakazu. My team is randomized. I'm pretty sure I randomized my team. Uh, I think African picked his team. He has a pretty good team. Uh, okay, right there, I just saw something funky. Uh, African stopped my chakra dash with a combo. That's just nuts. Like, that really should never happen in the game. Uh, that stuff like that's been happening ever since Storm Generations. I'm, I'm not really sure why that happens. I really think the chakra dash should override someone throwing punches at the air. That's just, that's just my own personal opinion on that. Anyway, let me get back to the match. Uh, right here, I think I'm being a little too aggressive. And as you can see right there, African went for the counter. I was being a little too aggressive right there. I should have backed off a little bit. I should have known he was going to go for that counter because he had no substitution bars. And he had <laughs> virtually no chakra. He had virtually no chakra. So I, I definitely should have backed off a little bit right there for a second. Okay, right here. Okay, I think I'm going to charge in. Yeah, I'm going to charge in. And I'm punching the air for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Okay, right there. I think I should have jumped back or done something and then used my... Um, like guard break on him. Like there's so many opportunities where I could have used that. I don't know why I didn't use it uh, so far in this match. I made the right decision right there just to block that combo instead of using my sum bar. 
And I was blocking that Jutsu attack, by the way. How'd that hit? How'd that hit? <laughs> Makes no sense right there. Okay. Okay, African. I'm not sure why he stopped this combo. He could have kept it going right there. I'm not sure what he was doing right there. Now I'm punching the air. Like, what am I doing that for? <laughs> what am I punching the air for? I mean, come on. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, right there, I was waiting for the right opportunity to use my sun tissue bar. And I think right here, I think. Um, yeah, I was trying to make him use his sub tissue bar right here, I think. He used it again. He should have just <laughs> he should have just waited instead of using that sub tissue bar. Now he has no sub tissue bars. Now I'm laying a smack down on African 2014. And I'm tossing him halfway across the stage. I'm getting back by charcoal and I think I'm gonna go into the wall. Woohoo! I made the right decision right there to not charge him all the way. I think I knew he was gonna, he was gonna go for the counter and I made that right decision. Okay, now I apply more pressure. Can okay, I back off a bit here? I should be getting back my chakra right now. Or I should be getting back my chakra. There we go. Backing off. And I went for the random counter. I did not think he was going to go for attack right there. I really didn't think he was going to do anything right there. Um, I got lucky. Okay, one hit will KO African 2014. But he might get a comeback. He might oh, never mind. <laughs> he would not get a comeback right there. He jumped behind me, and my touch support laid the smack down on African 2014 right there. Uh, that match was okay. It was an okay battle, in my opinion. Um, and that'll do it for this episode of Versus. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed my play-by-play -play commentary, give the video a thumbs up. And until next time, King Okinawa.